Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. I really hope everyone is doing well. I actually really missed you guys. I know some of you might blow up, that's a bit weird, but I sincerely did. That's why I came on and made this video because I was just debating. I thought maybe I should just put everything away. And I was like, no, I really want to come on and say hi to everyone. And I know that a lot of my subscribers have COVID, unfortunately. So I really hope that you're all feeling better, those who are affected. And I also know that a lot of my subscribers have also been struggling just with like mental health and everything that's going on in the world. So I really am just sending positive vibes to you all. So today I have a haul that's from mainly Poundland and Home Bargains. I do have a few other bits here and there. And before I forget, today's shout out goes to, drum rolls, Laura Bristol. Thank you so much for always making me laugh. Honestly, you're quite funny. <laughs> and you've been following me for quite some time now. I think you've subscribed to maybe all three of my channels. So thank you so much for the support. And I am making my way through my shout out list. So if I haven't given you a shout out yet, trust me, I am on it. So I'm gonna start off with my items from Home Bargains. So, they have their winter range out now, obviously, in all of the shops. So I bought this and I couldn't believe the price of it. It was £2. Can you believe it? It looks like something from, like, H&M. Look at it. I really love, like, the ribbed um, detailing on there. And I just, I was really shocked by the price. So I got a black one as well. I've actually been wearing it. You might have seen it in like my vlog or something. I've also picked up these. I really like the whole Jeff and Co range that they have. So I actually got kids socks because I find it really hard to find my size. And this was like four to six, so I don't really know why it's under kids, but my size is a size three. And I, I think I generally have to get four to six because that's all you can find. But I can't remember how much this was. It was a real bargain and you get five in there. I always tell you guys, I really love the skincare and the hair products that they have in Home Bargains, as well as pretty much everything else, let's be honest. So I've got these um, creams. So the first one that I've got, this one is a light cream. It has Dead Sea Minerals in there. And um, it says it nourishes and soothes and intensely moisturizes. It's also got some vitamins in there, but there's a story why I've got this one because it's anti-wrinkle I did this like L'Oreal and Nivea have this app where they it's really fun to do where they actually like you take a selfie and they analyze your skin be prepared you might feel a little bit crap after you do it because they tell you like what you need to work on and they compare you like to your age and the average like skin that you should be having. So they tell you like the age that your skin actually looks compared to what your actual real age is. So basically they told me, I did the Nivea and the L'Oreal one and they're a little bit different, but they both came up with the same, basically the same kind of results, which is telling me to focus on wrinkles <laughs> and firming. So those are my two, you know, areas to just basically work on. So. L'Oreal did recommend a product of theirs, obviously, but I couldn't find it in any shops and I found this one in Home Bargains and I thought, well, they told me to focus on wrinkling and firming and this product does both. So that's why that went in my basket. <laughs> By the way, please do leave me some recommendations if you have any anti-aging creams or whatever products I need to know about it because I'm a little bit late I'm not gonna lie I know you're supposed to do like the whole anti-aging in your 20s but I haven't started it and I'm 32 and like oh, I don't know getting old is so scary does anyone else what, like find that oh I don't know it's just weird like a few days back I had my first ever grey hair I freaked out I was just like whoa I'm actually getting old it's so strange you know it's like you're a kid and then you're just suddenly old the time just goes so fast so this is another product that I really love I've actually used this for quite some time now it's a face mist again it was really cheap like I think it was maybe $1.99 $2.99 max so this one has chamomile flower uh, lavender and rice extract in it's just so soothing and I really love to just end my day missing you know my face before bed 
And then just some soap. I find soap quite drying actually. So I tend to use the, the shower gels and creams, that kind of thing. But sometimes it's just easier because what I do is I put the soap in, you know the gloves that they've got the exfoliating gloves. That's probably why it's more drying because I'm using that glove. And then I just put the soap inside. <laughs> it's just a lot easier, quicker to have a shower that way. I've also got these because I needed them and these are supposed to be thick elastic, but I wouldn't recommend them because I tried using it and it literally doesn't double up. It, it just won't. It's really strange and my hair's not that thick to be like in a single bubble. Now a lot of you know I actually don't celebrate Christmas. I... Sorry, my... Yeah, okay, just needed to fix that. Yeah, so I get a lot of comments and a lot of messages asking me, like, what's going on? You know, you're Muslim and you're celebrating Christmas. I'm like, no, I'm not. So, yeah, I just really found this so cute. I do do a lot of winter Christmassy kind of crafts, so that's why. Look at it, though. But you can see them there. I love everything, like gingerbread, sweet, candy cane themed. And this was the last one. I can't believe it, I just got it for a pound. And there's so much of it, it's really thick. Like, look at that. I got this gift bag, really cute again. And oh, I just love it, I really, really do. I think I'm a child that just hasn't grown up, you know? <laughs> they always say it's good to be young at heart, so. But what I thought I would do with this is actually turn it into a house and cut out like the windows and have tea lights inside so that the light comes through. So that's gonna be a DIY probably for next year because, you know, Christmas is pretty much here now. And then for some of my fairies, like fairy creations, I brought this. How cute is this? It's supposed to be for like the elves. So this is a door, it even opens up. It's so, so cute. You've got a ladder and then a special delivery post box there. Then I picked up this twine pack I really love the Christmas twine, like the red and the white. I have a ton of the natural colour ones, but it also has red in the pack. And then I got this. I think I was thinking to, to use this maybe as a background, in like a shadow box or something. But I really love it, you know, the whole like embossed red. It's quite nostalgic for me, I'm not sure why. So there's a ton of sales on right now, which is quite hard for me to you know refrain from buying too much because you know I'm a bargain lover and there's just some really good stuff out right now so the works have a sale on I've picked up a few things I just wanted to share with you I know not everyone here is like a crafter but they've got die cut books that are half price and these are so pretty they're like in the vintage style which I really really love and then another one here, die cut book. It's so pretty, it really is. Again, vintage, like rustic. And I don't do like whatever this is supposed to be for. I don't do like paper crafts or die cut stuff, whatever it is, I don't even know. But I just thought I can use this in another way. <laughs> and then I got this for just a pound, a little Santa in his sleigh. And then, some embellishments. I'm feeling like the works have definitely everywhere's put their prices up, almost everywhere, but you're getting a lot less now, you know, in the packet like this. For a pound, I thought that was a bit much, like this should be like 30p, I think, you know, 50p max. But like, yeah, there's not that many embellishments in there either. And then just a few things, like I had four things from Don Elm, but I've got like one somewhere else. Look at how pretty this is. I had to get this, it's such a cute bird. And then this, I was looking for one of these for ages. It's sort of like a vintage reindeer. I really love it. Look at the spots, such great quality as well. And then this wreath ring was 150. I had a ballerina which I used in my craft and now it's in my craft room. So I'll just put an image here and the ballerina was just so nice. My mum was actually like, she looks a bit ghostly because she was clear. I was like, that's just such a weird spin to put on it because I thought it was really pretty and then my mum was like... Oh, I missed this little boy from Home Bargains. Super cute. They had a polar bear as well and a penguin. This was, oh, this is a penguin. Oh, 
they had something else, what was it? They had three things I think, but yeah, this was the cutest so I, I got him, he's even got a little scarf on. I'm not really fond of this bit, like, oh, okay, that, that was just stuck. I thought that was a design. <laughs> it's stuck on because it's a little bit like velcro -y. But yeah, that's, that's a lot better, isn't it? I actually thought it was like that. That's so much cuter, because I thought I'm going to have to try and do like surgery and cut the, the scarf off his head. And then I've got three bits from Hanster. So this was just 50p. I'm telling you guys, like you have to actually think about where you're shopping now because Poundland like charging 150 for the ornaments and you know, their prices have gone up a lot, but I feel like the quality is not in accordance. You know, the quality hasn't changed. So I found a lot of things cheaper in other shops with higher quality. So I got these as well from Asda. They're like white pearlescent with pink shimmer to them, bead garlands. And then I actually got this online. Look at how pretty it is. I loved it. It's so, so nice. I think this might be one of my favorite maxi dresses. Well, actually it's a midi, midi dress but because I'm short this is when sometimes when you're short things work well for you so like you can still get into like kids clothing I don't do that because like it's childish but sometimes you know fitting into like like for example shoe size three you'll always find you know because not that many people buy size three anyway so it can work to your advantage sometimes and so this was a midi skirt but I knew because the model on the model on the website was like five foot eleven, and I was like, well, if I'm five foot three, and that's coming up to her ankle, like to you know, not her ankle, but like a bit higher up, right? It's a midi midi dress. I thought, well, it should be maxi on me, and I think thankfully it does appear so. But I really love it. It's so feminine, and the material I wasn't too happy about because. It feels a bit cheap, it's like polyester. I got it for nine pounds in the sale. So I think originally it was like 18, but yeah, nine pounds, what a bargain. I actually got it online and did click and collect, which was free and I've got one quite local to me. So I was happy that I literally just paid nine pounds for it. I've got one tiny thing from b and This, cause I just thought, I don't know, I really like this thinking, you know, if I do make some like Christmas trees for my crafts or something, I really, I just thought it was nice. The trim is a feather touch luxury. Three pounds though, I thought it was a little bit dear. I got two of these, the Love Heart Antibacterial Washes, they always smell good. And then a few frames, I really do love the Pep and Co range for the frames. They come in so handy. So they've got them in different colours as well. They used to just have black and white, but now they've got all sorts of colours. You get two, yeah, I think I mentioned that. And then a few Christmas bits. I've got this wreath here. And then this blingy one, little tinsel one. I never usually pick these up, but I was just like, I'm sure I could do something with it, you know? I should have probably waited. Do you think there's going to be a Christmas sale in Poundland? There usually is every year, but with whole COVID stuff going on and they've put their prices up and I have no idea. And then I've got this as well, it always comes in handy. Oh, it's actually a wreath. Is it? I thought it was just like, you know, like a garland, but like in a circle. So what, like, is it four? One, two, three, four, five. That's really good. If that's five, like, that you get in there. I've never really thought of making a wreath with it, even, even though it's for a wreath. And then I brought more of these because I love them. So much you can do with them, the miniatures. I really do like them. I hope they get some out like for springtime because that's when you get to make all of the fairy gardens. I've got this one here full of glitter, a sleigh with little presents in, and then the gnome. There was another gnome that's holding a present. I didn't actually manage to find that, sadly, in my branch. I don't think it's funny because I don't like gnomes, but the miniature gnomes I actually like because they're tiny. And then the gingerbread man. And then finishing up, I brought this frame here. It's got a rainbow in, but I'm definitely going to jazz this up. What do other people like? Uh, I'm gonna just actually leave it like this because this is like a canvas kind of print. It's got like a texture on the paper. 
but this is so like boring for me <laughs> so yeah definitely gonna do something with that that's why I bought it and that's the end of my haul let me just check yep so I really hope that you have enjoyed watching again I just hope that you're all well I know this is a really busy time for you all oh and let me know if you guys are going to be doing you know your plans whatever you had for Christmas or if you're changing them because of the higher Covid rates and everything like that I know there's a lot of people are saying you know we should be going into lockdown and there's other people that are saying we shouldn't and there's you know two sides to every story basically but I really do hope whatever you do do that you are safe and happy because that's what matters and I'll see you in the next video thank you so much for watching this one Bye.